Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm from YouTube land, Elric Ferris, editor-in-chief here at Motherboards.org. Hey, AMD fans, it's a day for you to rejoice. The 6 Series cards have finally hit the market. That's right, those long-anticipated cards that you've all been waiting for are now here. Now, we did a video yesterday to explain to you guys that the 6 Series cards are kind of a replacement for the 57 Series cards. So, today we're going to take a look at the 6850 card from our friends at XFX. It features a gig of DDR5 memory, has some new features, and basically it's just a bump in the road in the mid-series line of video cards. So, let's take a look at what's inside the box, the specs, and how it performs against other cards in its same price range. Okay, so check it out. Here we show you the front of the box, and then we're going to show you the back of the box, and then we're going to show you some of the content in the box other than the card itself. As you get the drivers, some of the generic stuff, it's a little do not disturb thing. All good. Then we're going to move on. We're going to show you some of the basic specs of the card. Okay, the 775 megahertz core clock, the 960 stream processors, and the 256 bit memory interface are the most important things for this. This has been doubled since the previous five generation card, so the 5750 had half of what the 6850 has. Obviously, you get DirectX 11, iFinity, and full Crossfire X support. Here we take a look at the card itself. It's not based on a reference design. Uh, XFX has gone ahead and used a circular fan and a different kind of plastic housing to cool their card. Here we take a look at the side of the XFX Radeon HD 6850. Not only can you see the nomenclature, you can also see the heat fins that are part of the heat sink that help dissipate the heat away from the fan. Here we see the side of the card, and here's where the single 6-pin power connector hooks on that needs required to power your card. Now we're going to take a look at the rear I.O. itself. You've got two standard DVI connectors, a single HDMI, and a single display port. This is different than the standard normal design, which has two main display ports. So now let's jump right into what you all care about most, the performance scores. So let's just go over the final features. It supports DirectX 11. It'll play all of the current games that are out. It's priced at $199. It's going to be readily available on the market. It supports ATI's iFinity. So those are all some very good things. So overall, I give this product a hot product award, not quite an editor's choice, but a hot product award because I think this card actually at the price range of $109 is going to sell very well. Thank you very much to our friends at XFX for providing the 6850, and I thank you when users out there will find that for $199, you will get every worth of your money for bang for buck performance.